how to create children's book layout in a Canva for Amazon KDP. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I am going to show you how you can create the design or a design for Amazon KDP for children's book. It is a very easy and very simple. All you have to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you will be good to go. Now we are going to use the free tool called Canva for design. It is very resembling to Photoshop and Adobe Illustrator. You can go ahead and draw some lines and draw some uh, our characters. It is uh, free to use. And also you can go ahead and uh, search on the library that it has uh, from Canva to use their tools or the, in, their integrations. You can go ahead and use whiteboards. You can uh, go ahead and create uh, presentations. But before we begin the design, we are going to head to Amazon KDP Help Center. And then we are going to see the size specification or the trim size specification that we need to create our designs. Here we have the trim size. We have the large trim sizes. And here we have a lot of information that you can gather from uh, KDP right here. And all you have to do is to search on Amazon set trim size, uh, bleed and margins. And here we have the uh, size for the KDP Amazon.com and also for Amazon.co.gp. Now I'm going to choose a size right here for the large trim sizes. And then we are going to create that page. Or for example, I'm going to use this one. Uh, 8.5 uh, inches uh, for 8.5 let's go back to canva click on create a design custom size here i'm going to put the unit to inches here 8.5 and 8.5 here we are going to click on create new design and now we have the page set now before i proceed to the design i'm going to add something so we are going to use the trim uh, limits and also we are going to put the safe zone all you have to do is to click on file right here we have then we are going to click on settings and here we have to show rulers and guides I'm going to set this then we have a vertical a ruler and a horizontal ruler the first thing that you need to do is to set up the trim now we are going to drop a line from the horizontal ruler then we are simply going to set it up to 0.125 we are going to select 0.125 it is not uh, a specific number you cannot get that a specific number so it is okay to be under or above a little bit of that number I remember 0.125 and here also for the vertical one, I'm going to grab a ruler and then I'm going to set it for one, two, five. I have set it to 118 and then we are going to drag another ruler to the uh, right side. Then we are going to deduct uh, the, the 0 0.125 from the 8.5. So we are going to be around 83 five 8.35 like that and here we have it for example this and also we are going to set the horizontal one for the uh, end of the page and we are going to deduct it for example it will be something like that this is for the trimming zone here outside these lines or these rulers everything is going to be trimmed so here we are going to get a cut right here this is a cut and that also this one so now i am going to set the um the safe zone the safe zone is for the content and the pictures also for characters and any type of text that you have you have to put that the double of the trim zone here for example it is a 0 0.125 i'm going to put it 0 0.25 I'm going to let it right here. For example, we are going to put a zero like that. And for the same for this one, this is the right side. I'm going to put it here at 35. I'm going to minus one to five. It will be normally like that. Something like that. Approximately like this. And also for the uh, horizontal bar. Like that. I'm going to put it to 50 or to... 41 and also for this one like that so everything will be set up 
exactly this is the safe zone I'm going to reduce it to this level and here we have everything that is uh, very important that will not go back or go outside of these zones so they will not be cut or uh, considered a bleed now let's go ahead for example and we'll uh, begin the work I'm going to put a color let's go with this color let's say that I want to work with this background color let's start the design I'm going to search for trees tree and I will see some graphics let's say here and choose some graphics I'm going to use these like that for example this tree and before that I'm going to set for example land green green land for example I will see a land or something like that these are the uh, elements that are uh, for the purpose of the design I'm going to put a land like that and here we have it then I'm going to put some trees uh, let's say that this tree is right here go back right here and get some more trees here we have that one I'm going to set this one also this tree like that I'm going to put it right here and then I'm going to set a sky for example sky like that and simply we are going to choose a template from this one like that maybe maybe this one or not this is uh, not going to be well let's say that we have this one we're going to put this or make it a little bit smaller to make this one like that or I'm going to put the tree smaller like that to make the sky look bigger or here for example then we are going to reverse that let's say here we have to flip it vertically and here we have for example not the lines but here we have it is that what I want to do no it is not so I will go ahead and pick up something else let's see here this one maybe it will be better like that I'm going to put it right here and here we have some sky I'm going to put the position of it at the uh, let's say here it is at the at the top it's okay now we are going to set something else let's say that we are going to put something like that or I'm going to delete that so we are going to use another thing or it is okay to put some clouds like that we are going to put a cloud right here a rainy cloud for here and then we are going to put some characters let's put for example a fox let's see here what fox we are going to add this one for example I'm going to put it right here then I'm going to put any character from Canva it is up to you for example this I'm going to flip it horizontally there is a lot of options that you can go ahead and use with Canva it is uh, unlimited for the choices and also on the designs here I'm going to put this like that then I'm going to for example add a text box let's go ahead and add a text box or a heading I'm going to add a text box simply right here and write something let's say that hello I'm going to write a, a little story for this one hello I am for example Jerry the fox or the magical fox magical fox right here put fox and then on this one I'm going to add for example an element for bubble talk bubble like that and see here we have this one I'm going to this one is not suitable I'm going to see here this one is more suitable for example I'm going to let this right here I'm going to put the text like that simply I'm going to make it smaller and put it here in the bubble like this and here we have it and also we can go ahead and put this I'm going to click on that I'm going to duplicate it and here I'm going to put uh, for example I am Jerry not Jerry I am uh, James the 
friend of Jerry, like that. And here we have it. I'm going to duplicate this bubble, make it like that, and then I'm going to flip it horizontally, make it uh, uh, sort or get out of this one, which is, is James. And here we have it. I'm going to put the text uh, position at the forward like that. And here we go. You can go ahead and change the, for example, the font like that. This is not suitable. Let's go with this one, for example, Poppins. This is a little bit better. And also for that, you can go ahead and put it Poppins like that and here we have it then you are going to select for example a theme or you can go ahead and put a shape let's put some shapes right here shape then we are going to select the shape for example this one i'm going to put it for gray like that then i'm going to drag and drop it like this you can put the width of it as much as you want and here you can add some text for example a heading like that you can put it smaller, put it inside that box, and here we have it. Now, when you finish editing all the images that you have, for example, you can go ahead like this. I'm going to copy that one. I'm going to select the tree, the land, the fox, the other tree, and these uh, elements. Click on copy, or I am going to group them. Click on copy. Go back to the second image or the second uh, art that you have made click on paste and you will have everything without the bubbles because I did not select the bubbles to be grouped and when I want to move them it is, they are together as you can see when you finish everything on the design all you have to do is to click on share click on download and here we are going to choose the PDF standard or the PDF print so when you create, for example, 10 pages or 12 pages of a storybook for children, you are going to select them and download them uh, on bulk. Then you are going to make them on a single PDF file. Then we are going simply to Amazon KDP. Then we are going to publish it. That was all for today's video. I hope you guys that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one.